You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. Over 40 people, many of whom lost everything in the July 2022 flooding, have now been displaced again following an apartment fire in Hazard Friday, June 9th. Even before the flood, Eastern Kentucky has had a problem with affordable housing. There's just such a lack of housing in general. Um, so when the flood hit, people were leaving hotels for months and FEMA campers for months. And a lot of people are actually starting to move away because there's just, there are no homes to buy and there's nowhere to rent. If you're lucky enough to be able to buy a home, but a lot of people aren't and there's nowhere for them to even rent. And Hazard doesn't have a homeless shelter. There are literally no options. These people don't have family to stay with. If they did, they would not be in this temporary shelter right now. It's actually an emergency. Um, I really don't know what they will do. You were here earlier and a woman was talking about sleeping in her car tonight. Um, some of them don't even have cars to sleep in. We can't have them all out on the street, just thrown out in a parking lot. We all have to step up and I know that we're capable of doing that because of what all we've done during the flood process. One of the victims of the fire, Athelia Stamper, who has a four month old and a two year old, lost everything in the flood just 11 months ago. She then moved her family to Hazard to try to rebuild. We lost everything in the flood, what it was, we didn't even know it was happening until we walked outside and everything was pretty much all the way up. Um, we lost that, FEMA wouldn't help us because we didn't own the land or own the building. So we went and took a loan in our car and went and rented that place. It's been rough, losing all her stuff before I was pregnant, you know, everything I gathered, and then getting it and then losing it again. It's just kind of like, I, I just can't get a break. If I'm in the car with two kids, they'll take my kids. And I, I, I've lost enough, I can't lose my kids, you know? Um, and it's just pretty much if I don't get housing, that's where it stands. While housing is a vital need of many, the residents also had pets. Um, another issue are animals. Most of the people here have animals. So I'm really worried about what will happen to the animals. They can't even take the animals out to use the bathroom because their leashes and collars were lost in the fire. Some still don't have the basic needs, like they don't have food for the animals. So I'm going to make a list that I'll have on Facebook tonight. If people want to adopt an animal and send money that will go directly to sponsoring, getting things for that animal, that's another way to help. But they really just need anything. Any assistance that you're able to give they'll probably need it. To see a full list of necessities or to make a monetary donation, go to Kate Clemens on Facebook. I know it's been a lot of donations since the flood and people think that, you know, 11 months it should be over with. But, I mean, it's been hard just getting up on our feet even since the flood. And now another tragedy is hit and it's just like anything helps. I don't care if it's a dollar or a landlord who wants to reach out and be like, here, you know, let me help you and we can, you know, figure out your rent. Anything helps, it just, anything. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.